hi welcome to microsoft word document tutorial this uh, lottery number generator was developed in microsoft word using vba it's very simple to use so let me just play it for you guys see how it works that's the reset now it's reset and there we go okay all you need to do is if you have duplicated number just regenerate another number okay so what i will do next is let's take you guys straight into the development environment of microsoft word and then we put something like this together okay welcome back so the next thing i'm going to do now or the very first thing i will do is make sure i have my developer ribbon up there if it's not there for those of you who's never programmed using vba inside or document go to file right underneath here select options and select customize ribbon and right here you need to make sure developer is enabled if it's not enabled all you need to do is just check it and make sure you click on ok up there you should be able to see your developer before we start with the VBA program let's go into insets and let's get our table there we just need five rows there I have my rows in place you can always right click on that very table go to table property and where it says border and shading select whatever design you prefer or whatever your preferences might be so I'm going to be selecting that that's the one I used previously okay you can either select three or maybe four and a half the choice is yours there and click on OK and right in here make sure you select there that's where the title will be I will now go into the developer itself once you select the developer you should be able to see this control that's the VBA control right there drop this down and go to a place called legacy legacy forms select this very more controls and the control we're looking for right now is supposed to be label label microsoft form label that's what we need that's it right there microsoft form label select that and click on ok now we have our label in place and right here i also need another label here right there so i can always copy this if i want just hold down your control copy and dump it right there so we have two labels in place and underneath here i need a button go back to the control select tools and look for microsoft form command button right there and click on ok now i have my form my button in place hold down the control and just copy so we have two buttons okay paste it there and you can then start with the modification the next thing now is right click on whatever property you intend to modify first this is the one i want to modify first i will change that to lottery number generator there now let's change the font size we change the font size to something a little bit readable 36 and let's change the font color to white the background color let's change it to something a little bit darker now we have that sorted so the next thing is let's just drag it vertical and drag this horizontally okay there now next step is to customize this select 
property and let's change the width of that maybe we change that to about 54 okay and we also need to change we've changed the height to 54.5 let's change the the background we change that to black yep now the text content in it let's change that to white and we might as well align it center hey yeah, that reminds me we should align this center as well very centered now come back down here change this label let's change the font to something readable maybe 48 and delete whatever is in there the 48 is too let's go let's try it out with 45 okay that's fine all right so all we just need to do now is copy this very label we need six of those hold down the control and copy So that means we need to move this. Okay, that is fine. Just get this in there and repeat the same thing for this. Maybe even extend this. All right. Okay, let's change the size of these buttons. Let's go to property and just enter 54.5 as well. And this one 54.5. Okay, now enter some data in here this one is called reset and change the name to cmd reset repeat the same thing to this that will be numbers or let's just call it lottery and just undo that select this back in there and just change that to lottery and here cmd lottery maybe we should change the back background color let's change the background color yeah go for that and change this as well then we change the color the font color let's change that to there font size make it bold and go for maybe let's give that a try to a six okay that's fine let's move this all right that's fine then the next thing is change this one as well change that to 36 bold 36 click on okay change the color Font color and change the back color to black. Back there. All right. The next thing now is just to finish up with the coding. Let's move this to the edge. Yeah, that's fine. Now double click on this. Oh, we need the names of this really. Let's get the names or give them a name they don't really have a name so i'm just going to call that lbl lottery one okay i'll repeat that for the rest okay they all have a name now now the next thing is double click on my lottery generator and right there all we need to just enter is as follows let's get rid of that right here we'll say lbl lottery one dot caption equals int which that stands for integer run random times 50 okay okay we just need to copy that and repeat just repeat it we need six in total 
from one more and all you just need to do next is change the numbers that's for the labels that's for uh, five and six and that is the VBA code to generate the lottery number on Microsoft Word so if I go into Word now come right here you see the highlighted design mode click on it then you can just click on that and you see that it generates your lottery number if you get duplicate number just double click on it and just repeat it. clicking until you get the number you like now let's take care of the reset button the reset button is not working yet so I'm just gonna copy all of that copy it all and get the reset button undo that it's narrow get the reset button which is right here that's it paste all of that in there and just change this to clear so I'll repeat that for the rest let's clear that's the clear taken care of now let's go back into our design here so we can always click on clear now now let's go back to the design design mode I think I need to break this apart one way or the other let's go into the property and see if we can yep you see where it says border color so let's see if we can get something a bit white yeah maybe that might give us border color let's give it a try again yeah I think that is it that, I think it's yeah the white color is there so let's repeat the same thing for this so if I try it out yeah you can see the border style is there so let me just speed that up okay the border is in place now so if I click on lottery there guys so that is how you create your own lottery generator in Microsoft document word you see that using VBA code and here are the lines of codes again see how easy it is okay back into VBA so with that I'm just gonna call it the end of this program I suppose you guys enjoy it bye for now